Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to add CK editor to a PHP page and serve the record to MySQL database. In order to uh, add CK editor to our PHP page, we want to download uh, the cloud version, I mean the C CDN version, or we can download the library directly from CK editor official website. Here, um, going to create a new page in PHP for showing you the demo of how to add CK editor in PHP page. Now just copy and copy and paste the code from this website to the PHP page. Uh, actually it's just for a demo purpose okay so I'm just copying the code here you can see in between the head I pasted the CK editor CDN library now copy this code and in between the body we are going to create a new form We need a form to submit the data to the backend. Later, we will create a backend. Okay, so I'm just closing the form. The action will go on to action.php page. Whenever the user submit a data through the form, it will go to the action.php page. Okay, we are using the post method. I'm just copying the text area code and uh, going to paste in between the form. Okay, also we need to copy the JavaScript and paste under the form. You can post it anywhere, uh, but it it's need to be uh, between the body tag. And I just pasted the text area. You can see that in the text area, you can see ID is equal to text. And in the JavaScript, CK editor dot replace is is identified the same text. Okay, so in order to convert the text area to CK editor, we are, we want to specify the ID. The also we just mentioned a input input button too with name submit. Now I'm starting the Apache and MySQL in Sam for running the PHP script we can go to CK editor and we can see the form the text area is converted to CK editor you can see that that's how we will convert your text area to CK editor now we are going to create another page called action.php because uh, whenever users submit the data from the front end it will go to the action page uh, okay so we are just creating the action page the action page we need to uh, we need an if condition uh, to check whether the user submitted the data or not so we will use is that function is it dollar underscore post is equal to submit okay so whenever uh, user click on the submit button sorry uh, the if condition only work whenever user click on the submit button and inside the inside the if condition we are going to um call one one more one more uh, post method and uh, we are calling the ck editor value we can check yeah the name of the ck editor is text so whenever user click on the submit button it will get the data from the ck editor and will store to ck editor underscore value now we are just echoing the value 
okay so i'm just going to submit yeah see the value is stored to seek editor value and it's showing the because we just put the echo there the next thing that we are going to do is going to create a connection between the mysql database and specify the host server here it is localhost and the user it's root and the password will be empty for the localhost so maybe some of you guys may set password on uh, if you set the password just mention the password though. and the database name here i'm going to create a database in php my admin going to create a new database ck editor need to create a table inside the ck editor the name of the table is content going to put a serial number for ordering auto increment function and the value name is content it's going to be 500 it's enough for the demo purpose and if you want more you can specify a model going to get the insert query Here I am using the prepare statement for inserting the, the data from the front end to the back end. It is better you to always comment uh, while you're coding because it will help you to understand the code after a few years. Okay. So here I am uh, creating the prepare statement, Corey. Is it is equal to connection prepare and I just uh, paste the inserted insert insert query and going to bind the data the CK detail value I'm going to bind the CK detail value and going to execute the value I'll save the program and now we can test the form okay going to write some that text inside the uh, CK editor and going to submit the value so there's no there's nothing showing but uh, it will be inserted see the data is inserted now we are going to write one more if condition uh, we will check whether the data is ins inserted to the database or not if the data is inserted it will show data inserted Now we are going to test the form again. Going to submit the value and it's showing data inserted. That means the data is inserted to the database. Now we are going to write another program which will select the inserted data from the database. For that, I'm um, uh, writing a yeah, prepare query and 
writing the query select star from content Now write a while query because there may be few many data in the database. Now going to, I'm going to echo the data from the database. Select data and insert that content now we go to the form again and I'm going to input a new data new text and submitting the value and see previously we added some data right and it's it's showing the this is how we add seek editor to php page and show the value from the database thank you for watching the video and if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you thank you for watching